Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to create radial bar chart in Tableau. For this we'll be using Sample Superstar dataset and also we'll be using data densification technique to plot this chart. So what is a radial bar chart? As you can see it's a form of a bar chart but each bar is in the form of a radial or you can say a circle where individual bar represents a value of a dimension. In this particular example, I am showing the maximum sales by region. As you can see for South region, which is a red color bar, it's representing 22 grand of sales. Whereas the East region is representing 11 grand of sales. So how we can achieve this? Let's start with a blank workbook. And first of all, we will connect to the data set. So in this case, I am connecting to an Excel file for sample Superstore data set, which I already have it here. And I will open that Excel spreadsheet and will bring the orders into the data shelf. And I will create a data densification, which is nothing but creating multiple additional points between two points. So in this case, I will open this orders data set and I will create another data set which will be just two points between 0 and 270. So let me show you an Excel spreadsheet first what I meant by that. So this Excel spreadsheet contains a data which shows values 0 and 270 under a path field. So why I am using 0 and 270 is because in the dashboard I want to plot a circle or you can say three quarter of a circle so which starts from zero degree to 270 degree if you want to create a s entire circle from zero to 360 then you can create points between zero to 360 but in this particular example radial bar chart I want to keep the three quarters of a circle so that's why I'm using that so in that example in the data set I will bring another data set another Excel spreadsheet which is nothing but the path field which have a column from value 0 to 270 and in this case I will create a Cartesian join by just creating a join by adding one value in both the join criteria and for each record in the order shelf it will create two records which will be a zero value of the path and 270 value and I will show you here, you will see 270 and 0. For each record, there will be two values now. So now I will be using this path to create artificially number of points between these values. So let's go to the sheet one. And here, my first thing will be from the path, I will be creating a pin. And in this pin, I will be keeping the size of the pin as one. And once the pin is created, I will create another calculation for index and in this calculation I will be using index value and because I want to start it from 0 I will keep it index minus 1. Once we have created path bin and index value we need to create a x axis value x coordinate value and y coordinate value. So let's create another calculated field and that is for let's say x-axis and for this we'll be just creating a formula which will be cos of radians and then I will use index. I will let you know how we create this formula but let me create the values first. Now I will create a value of y coordinate and it will be similar to that one sine of radians and I will do index calculation here. So how we created these x and y coordinates. So let me show you the standard equation of a circle. So it's basically x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. So in this case h and k are nothing but the center of the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So if you look at this example, this circle, so H and K is the center of the circle and X and Y is the point on the circumference of the circle. 
it can be anywhere but just to explain you how we calculated that formula so from the center point to the point on the circumference of the circle the distance is basically the radius it's r and the value x here is from the center to this point is the x-axis and from this point to the point on the circumference is the y-axis so and the angle between radius and the x-axis is called theta right so using the trigonometrical function the sine theta value is basically the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse which is in this case radius so as you can see here sine theta is equal to y upon r and same way cos theta is equal to base upon divided by hypotenuse which is r in this case cos theta is equal to x by r so if we need the value of x x is equal to r into cos theta and y is equal to r into sine theta so that's how we came up with the formula for x and y coordinates and in the example which we are using here we are considering radius equal to 1 so x is equal to cos uh, r into cos theta right and here r we have considered it as 1 so radius is equal to 1 and cos theta we are using theta as a point index which we have artificially created between 0 to 270 so that's our theta value and instead of using the degrees we are using here as radians so that's how we created the value of x and y coordinates so now as we have created it we will bring the y y coordinate into column shelf we will drag it there we will drag x coordinate into row shelf and once we do that and we will bring the path bin value which we have it here we will bring it into detail shelf once we have it here we will simply right click on the y-axis and we'll say compute using path pen and we will do the same thing for x-axis and we will say compute using path pen and you will see the circle is created from 0 to 270 degree with the radius of 1 and now we will bring the region from the order table to the color shelf and I will change the marks to circle which will look like this and if you click on any one of these it will highlight that region value right but now the trick here is all these radials for each region have the radius of 1 but we want to show them as an individual bars so that means individual circles from 0 to 270 degree right so how we can achieve that so for this we will create a rank calculation which will create which will help us to create the circle or in this case three quarter of a circle for each one of these region rather than currently they are overwrapping right so we need to create individual bar for each of these region here so for that we will create a new calculation and in this case i will give it the name sales and i will use the windows max calculation in this case to get the maximum value of sales and then I will create another calculation which will be a rank calculation and here I will be using rank unique value for sales which we created and I would like uh, ascending value in here and once that is created I will simply change the x and y coordinate calculation and I will multiply it by the rank values what it will do initially we were just considering radius as one for everything right so we didn't do anything we didn't multiply by anything it was just one now we want to change the radius of each of these bars so we will be multiplying it by the rank function which we just created so it will create a radius for individual regions separately we will do the same thing for y-axis 
once you create this calculation, this circle will disappear, but that's okay. Once we complete the calculations, it will reappear and I will show you how. So we multiplied it by rank and now we go to Y axis and click on the drop down and go to edit calculation. And in this case, we go to rank and we will select it by specific dimension and we change it to region. And we do the same thing for X axis, edit calculation and we go to specific dimension and we go it by region. We'll see here, it's all by region and sales should be by path and you will see the semicircle, the circle will be appearing now and I will do the same thing here and we need it by path. And here you will see the circle started to appear. Now you will see all these bars are of equal sizes. And if we are trying to show these bars by sales in this scenario or any other measure which you are using in, as per your requirement, you need to create another calculation to achieve that result. So in this case, I will go to create calculated field and I will create another um, calculation which will be maximum sales. So it will be similar to existing calculation which we created. So Windows sum and then max, actually Windows max, sorry, of sales. And it's not Windows sum, I want the maximum value here. Windows max, maximum sales. It's exactly to the similar calculation which we did earlier. But what we are trying to achieve here is we are saying, and this Windows max actually, we are trying to say here that is for all regions. So what we are trying to achieve here, the sales for this region, which is South region, that divided by the total sales across all the regions. And that will give me the percentage of that particular region, the sales, the percentage uh, as per the total sales. So then I will multiply that value with the percentage value with the index value. And that way our bar will increase or decrease as a reference point. So in this case, let me show you that. So we have created the maximum sales in this region. I will create another calculated field as percentage. And here I will say sales divided by max of our region. And it will give me a percentage value. So what I will do now is I will change the X axis again and I will say, instead of multiplying by angle, I will um, just add another calculation here and I will multiply it by the percentage. And once I do that, I will just click OK. And once that is done, the calculation will change again, which is absolutely fine. That's not a problem. And I will do the same thing again with my calculation and I will multiply index value by percentage as well. So once this is done, click OK. And then again, go back to Y axis and do edit table calculation. And in the maximum for all region, you just select path and region as well. And you will see they started to change the size for each bar. Do the same calculation for y-axis, add table calculation, and maximum sales by region, select both of them. And here you go, the radial bar chart is completed, but now it's time to do a bit of formatting to make it more appealing. So first of all, we will do the format and I will remove all the grid lines. I don't want the zero lines. I don't want the axis ruler and I will hide the headers and then I will change the circle and make it to line and once I do that you will see this thing appears this is because Tableau doesn't understand what is the path and which lines to join so basically we will bring this path pin value into the path field and it will appear like this 
and let's increase the size, make it a bit bigger. You know, it looks much better now. And let's say now we want to bring the region into the label shell and you will start searing all the labels here. Let's edit the labels and let's say we want it at the line end and we'll uncheck label start of the line. Actually, we want that. We don't want at the end of the line, so it will look something like this. And then in this case, the sales calculation which we created for maximum sales, we will bring that into label shelf. And you will see the south region has the maximum number of sales of 22 grand. And it will appear like this. And you can do a bit more labeling format. And let's say I want to increase the font size, let's keep it 12, make it a bit bold. And I want both of them in one row. So you can do it like this. And it looks much better now. I hope you guys like this session and in regards to data densification technique, if you want to know more about it, please refer to my another tutorial, which I have put it in the description below. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out by just commenting in the blue section. Thank you.